Okay. Hey guys. Uh, so it looks like we have Stuart Hall. Mm -hmm. So he's one of the um, cultural theorists we're learning about this week. Yeah. Definitely didn't, I didn't look like before when we had to choose who we we're doing, like I didn't really look anyone up, but I'm kind of glad because he's actually really important and really cool, kind of. Yeah, he's got a lot of information on him. I just kind of looked at like his biography first and then kind of took it from there. Yeah, I did. I'm on the same boat as Mikhail. I didn't really look at him and that until we got assigned him and then he's way, he's way more interesting than I thought he would be. Yeah, I um, I did a little research, I think, going into this because uh, I was familiar with some of the theorists, so I wanted to do someone I didn't know much about, and uh, reading his biography was uh, certainly interesting, and I am glad that I chose him as well because he has done so much and uh, has has contributed to, to so much of what we talk about, especially in, in what we learn about in college. Um. I think just in general, his life itself is pretty, I think remarkable would be a decent term to use. I mean, grow, or being born in Jamaica, but with like, I read that he, his like nationalities range from Jamaican, he was Indian, British, and then the fact that he like, was born in Jamaica, but still, he spent most of his life in uh, like in Britain afterwards, and some of like the most like I don't know profound colleges like in the world, and he just like bounced around from so many different like insane places like Oxford. Uh, what was the other? Yeah, Matteo, I think you're right. He, I think I read he got like a scholarship from. Um, Merton College, which is like in Oxford. So that's pretty cool too. And then he also grew, when he was growing up in Jamaica, I think there, um, it was in like a time of where there was a lot of tension going on between two religious groups. So I think that definitely um, contributed to some of his theories that we learned about a little bit later in our research. He honestly lived a life that like we're all striving to live. No, I, don't think, I don't think he did a single thing that wasn't like important. He really made the most of his time. Yeah. And he's just, and like, especially like after his time after college, like he's just such a big contributor already to cultural studies and even like his theories and concepts. Like, and like after doing like some research and going into it, like it makes so much sense, like that you wouldn't think about it. Like one of his theories, like reception theory and then like encoding and decoding. So basically. That's what I was going to say. That's so, yeah, you were just writing about that on the Canva. Mm -hmm. And like, so, it's so crazy how like, you wouldn't think about it, but it makes so much sense. Like, although like people create like content, like movies, TV shows, all that stuff, they have a meaning for it. And like, they want you to like follow that meaning, but it's essentially up to the audience to decode the information that they're given to either that to be what it is or make a completely different interpretation and meaning out of it. It's kind of like poetry in like uh, high school and middle school when the teacher says like, what do you think about this? And every single person in the class can have a completely different perspective on what it actually meant. Yeah. And he actually, he wrote, I mean, he wrote stuff about it, he spoke about it, and he just took it to a whole nother level that like actually showed everybody how important it was. I like for him, it, it came across very clearly in all the work that he's done, that this was something that he he did out of passion for it. And it wasn't like, something he felt um, maybe obligated to do or like it was part of, you know, research or just being a part of academics. Uh, he talks about how he's shaped it and, and kind of formed this field of cultural studies and how he's examined the media uh, as, as something that he wanted to make clear and educate everyone else about uh, maybe power differences or just how society looks at these things, how these things are structured. Um, and I think that it's just interesting uh, uh, to look at. Yeah. I think his, uh, sorry. I just think, uh, I don't think he like set out to be like, oh, a cultural theorist. Like I don't think any of them did, but then the work he did over his lifetime and then after his life like those dedications and then he became a professor to really 
talk about culture and my the studies and works and theories he created over his life. I think he's definitely beneficial and influential in media studies because he talks about culture. I think culture plays a large role in media. And he's got a good perspective of it because he's so multicultural, like I said earlier. He's got so many different like backgrounds and he was in so many different places. It's not like he needed to force anything. I guess it, it, I'm assuming it just came like naturally to him because there's, he had so many different perspectives and so many different ideas that he just had on his own that like he could just put out into the world. And uh, I don't know. Yeah. Mateo, I definitely think you, that was one of our challenges in creating this brochure because we all thought he had so many amazing things that happened and that he did. And it was hard to pick just a few things to fit on the front and the back of the brochure. Yeah, and there's just so much information out about him, about, like, what, who he was as a person, all his different theories. That it's just, like, I feel, like, at a disservice because I feel like I'm not writing enough about him and giving, like, him the credit that he deserves because he's done so much. But at, at the end of the day, there's only so much space on a brochure to fit information about someone who's literally done so much for it. Yeah, he's dipped his toes in so many different, like, books, projects, places, that there's just there's honestly so much that he did I don't think we could put it on one brochure yeah well I definitely enjoyed learning a little bit more about him over just like the past two weeks I really enjoyed having um, it was great to like bounce ideas off you guys too about maybe how to set the brochure up I think that was helpful anybody have any um, concluding thoughts about Stuart Hall wish you could have met him <laughs> I mean, that's a great one. I love that. Yeah, I'm actually surprised at like how recently he passed. I mean, what is it? Yeah. Was it 2014? Is that what I said? 13 or 14, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Very cool. It was great to see you guys today. Yeah. You too.